part two of turning the trailer into a mobile tire shop. I forgot to start recording, but I took a three inch hole saw, drilled it right here into the front, right side, driver's side, and I added a three prong, 120 volt power inlet. Ran that through there. And it's coming out in here. I'm gonna add a box here. I don't mind any screws. It's metal, so I do yourself tapping screws. I'm just gonna snip them. This is all just dry fitted. Um, I'm gonna put a box here. And I drilled a 7 8 hole through there right into a 30 amp uh, fuse box. I have a double 30, but they're both individual, double pole. Um, and like I said, all this is just dry fitted. This isn't even really on yet. I'm just gonna, I ran this wire this way because I'm gonna have two outlets going through here and I ran this one that way because I'm going to have one outlet right here because I plan on putting one machine here another machine in the back and then the compressor over here so I need to run to the store and get a box for that because I forgot to get it and by the way all this stuff I got off of Amazon could have got the box too but I forgot about it didn't think about it. Um, I thought that was going to look fine by itself, but it doesn't. It looks horrible. So I'm going to get a box, cover that up with a box. And I do have some gray insulation. I know it's going to be double insulated, but I don't really give a shit. So I'm going to put the gray insulation over just because it's going to look better. And run all this right. Have the receptacles hooked up. And we'll come back when that's done. All right, so there you have it. I got everything set up. I spray painted that. I'll paint it right. Spray painted the stick. So now I'm gonna hook up this generator to the plug outside. And we're gonna make sure that all these plugs are working and that that breaker box is working. All right, so we got the generator hooked up. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna get this angle grinder and I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. The breaker switched up, uh, by the way. Make sure that my breakers are working. 15 on that side. That shouldn't be on anymore. Nothing on. Nothing good. So 
everything's working how it should. We'll just not our turn the operators back on, double check. Alright, let's turn this generator off because it's pretty late. So tomorrow my tire remover and my balancer arrives and we'll get this decked out to how I want it to look. Alright, so I might either make a part three or just continue on this video. We'll see. Well it's a new day and we finally got in the shipment of the tire remover and the wheel balancer there you go this is a weaver Let's see if you can see that W894XS semi-automatic tire changer And then we have the Weaver W977 Balancer. It can do car tires, motorcycle tires, ATV tires, truck tires. So now I just gotta assemble it all together and put it into the trailer. Be back with it assembled. All right guys, so we got the machine set up and built. I calibrated that machine last night. I put together this machine and everything. About to change our first tire. My boy Andy needs a tire for his truck. I'm gonna change it, put it on there. This thing's heavy as hell, so I'm gonna need about three people. I gotta wait for my brother, and then we'll put it into the trailer and figure out how we're gonna make it all fit. All right, so finally got the balancer and right here I have it this way for weight distribution my axles are about right here actually right here where I'm standing and this machine weighs almost 595 pounds so I have it above the axles this machine weighs about oh, 300 400 pounds 400 pounds maybe lighter a little lighter than 400 pounds so i have it back here and i have to center it here because of the door um i'm gonna put the generator i mean the uh, compressor back there and i'm going to have the generator for now placed here so when i'm working i'll just pull it out this way if it doesn't fit here because i don't know if there's enough room then I'll figure out, I'll probably build a ramp, that way I could drop it through this door. And it definitely fit right here for now. The compressor is just gonna go right here, mount it into the wall. Um, there's plenty of room for me to do anything. It's not a lot of room at all, but there's plenty of room, you know? Uh, all my controls are right there. Right there, I have plenty of room to get to it. Bead breaker's right here. There's plenty of room between this bead breaker and this balancer. I would never have a tire. I mean, even if I did, there's probably still enough room, but I would never have a tire on here and on there at the same time. So it's not gonna matter. But it doesn't get in the way. I'm able to still do everything. Only thing that is not 100% right is this. See that? It's hitting right here. And I have it actually a little bit down, but that doesn't matter because a wheel is probably only like right here anyway it's only up to right there so you when you when you're done you lift this back up pops back up 
I mean, if I need to get the wheel off of it, I could just cut this uh, line in here out and it'll definitely pop up through there. But I don't think that's gonna be a problem. As long as I can put it low enough for it to slide back, that's what matters to me. <clears throat> Sorry, that's what matters to me. So let me get this all set up and then I'll come back and show you the finished result. All right, guys, so there you have it. Balancer, tire changer, presser, toolbox to hold everything I need. Impact gun, run an electric impact gun, not gonna be running the hose out of here. Only hose is gonna be connecting from the compressor to the tire changer. Everything fell trying to get it in here. I had to muscle it in here. This thing weighs about 150, 200 pounds itself. So, there you go, man. Uh, wasn't that hard. It's really just money, honestly. I mean, uh, this was 240. This gun itself was for something battery pack with it 200 uh this compressor i actually bought it open box from harbor freight because somebody opened the box so they put a 20 percent discount on it so this one was almost like 370 after taxes um supposed to be like 430 370 this one came on the 370 it's good enough to run this um all the electrical stuff, I don't remember. Maybe anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks. Um, the little little accessories for the tire changer thing, I probably spent with the, uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, where'd I put the weights at? I think I'll put them in here. Wheel weights, I got valves coming in, 100 pack, uh, thread measurer lube stuff like that i uh, probably spent another uh three four hundred bucks on a lot of other little things that i just don't know where they're all at i'd have to find them all um this tire changer and this balancer combo was uh probably like thirty five hundred i believe it was a thirty five hundred dollar combo This is Derek Weaver's top of the line uh, balancer. And this is their 894 tire changer. I think the only difference between the 894 and the 898 is pretty much the system that goes on the top, which I probably wouldn't be able to fit anyways because of the clearance. But if I wanted to, I could have bolted it on there because it has bolts. Um, flooring. I spent almost $300 on this diamond plate flooring, three, four hundred dollars Uh, the trailer itself, another $3,000. Um, other things that I've done, like in my own house, build tire racks in the shed, uh, spent a couple hundred dollars on wood. Um, investment into your first tires if you find a wholesaler you got to find a wholesaler uh, you get them at a good price I don't know what your wholesaler be selling them wholesale prices you know some people want a hundred minimum some people want 500 minimum some people want 800 minimum they can go anywhere from honestly they could go as cheap as four dollars but you're probably gonna have to buy like a thousand of them and I've seen them go up to uh, uh, there's grade A, grade B, grade C, and they can go up to, the grade A's can go up to $20 a pop, then there's $10 a pop, then there's $5 a pop, which is the most common. A, 20, B, 10, C, 5. Um, I don't get mine from a wholesaler. I get mine from somewhere else, and I get a good deal on them too, because tires are just a byproduct of what they do. They don't really do nothing with them, I mean, they do sell them, but not really to tire companies. I went in there and I negotiated and, you know, this is just a byproduct of what they buy and they don't really care anything about them. 
so they have perfectly good tires stacking up by the hundreds just sitting there but there you go man if you guys got any questions just uh ask me i'll probably post another video showing me actually doing something in here showing that there's plenty of room to get everything done and to do everything all right so hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet keep following my channel i got a lot of cool things coming up i just don't have a camera person to record me doing all the things i do sometimes sometimes i forget to record or i just don't have the time to record and i, I do a lot of things a lot of projects thank you guys for watching logical thinking